when entering into the world of tech and wellness. There is a common theme of people taking their productivity and health hacks to new levels. Levels where maybe no one should aspire to go to. I'm talking about waking up at 4 a.m., taking cold showers, only drinking organic kombucha, regimented time blocking, extreme intermittent fasting, caffeine naps, restrictive diets, or supplementation. As someone who has my own system of productivity tools and likes to dabble in the world of wellness, I want to break down how I manage my time to find some middle ground between being productive and being a productivity robot. To answer the question, can productivity hacks be effective? Before we dive into this topic any further, I want to say, hi, my name is Jen and welcome to my channel, Jen Drews. I talk about everything from tech, lifestyle, career to wellness. If you are interested in any of those topics, I would love if you could take a second, subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, and leave a comment at the end. The common goal of all these health and productivity hacks come from a good place. It's people who want to optimize their time, which is a great trait because we only have so much time and it's easy for time to slip by. Honestly, how many New Year's resolutions or dreams have you just let pass by because you weren't making any tangible progress on them. This has happened to me countless times until I realized I have no interest in my life being a glorified checklist, but there are a lot of things I have to and want to do, which results in my weeks being pretty planned out to allow me to keep up with my habits, stay organized as a product designer at work, and allow me to have more time to do the things I want to do. Part one, how I set up my week. Sundays aren't just a day of rest for me. Instead, they are when I open up Notion, my weekly planner, and Todoist to start writing down all of the things swirling around in my head, like work tasks, appointments, social events, days I want to exercise, groceries, and content planning for YouTube. It might seem like a waste of time to spend an hour planning out my week, but it helps me manage the level of things I do each day by checking off tasks, but not burning out. It's kind of like financial budgeting, but just for my time and energy. Outside of time management, there are certain habits that help support my productivity systems. These are meal prepping, exercising every day, and fixing my sleep habits. And do these things actually create that much more energy or time? The short answer is yes, a combination of a lot of habits makes a huge difference. But if you're truly curious, I tested this out with meal prepping. Does it actually save time? At the end of the week, I still spent hours in the kitchen, but I was able to not spend time cooking Monday to Friday during my busiest days, and it gives me an extra hour back each day to be able to work out, have a social life, clean, do whatever I need to do. Being able to rearrange your time in a strategic way and say no to other commitments is a skill that gets easier over time. Product design productivity. After a weekend or time off from work, I am always disoriented when coming back. Having a weekly plan helps me jump in where I left off, it gives more structure to my days, and it actually boosts creativity. To plan out my work day, I start by looking at my work meetings for the week and seeing which projects I have to do, and then I time block my time to make sure I have enough creative and brainstorming periods. How structured my days are depends on how busy I am. When I have less projects, I'm more relaxed with my time, but then I noticed I become less creative. Creative fields can be hard to predict because the idea or solution to a project might not come at the time you want it to. But it's actually been shown in a study from 2008 run by psychologist Robert Epstein that creativity can become a habit. In his study, he showed that strengthening four core skills lead to an increase of novel ideas, which are keep a journal to store all of your ideas, think through problems with no clear solutions, learn new things outside of your discipline, and surround yourself with interesting people and things. To be even more effective, Q consistency, talked about by Charles Duhigg in the book, The Power of Habit, says that when performing a habit at a specific time, your brain associates that time with the habit, making it more automatic. What all of this means for me is I always write my ideas down to give my brain more space. Then I try to stick to a routine because it makes my days flow more smoothly and I'm less likely to be stressed and overwhelmed with work which gives me more mental energy to do the things I want to do outside of work. 
making time for things I want to do. I don't plan my life to this detail for the sake of doing more work or checking off more tasks. Instead, I care about maintaining a balance. This means with some of the extra time I get from managing my days, I use it to do nothing or see friends. And sometimes things get neglected because I don't have unlimited energy and I don't have multiple clones of myself. It took over two years to get my own productivity systems down that worked for me and were sustainable. But but there was a lot of trial and error, and there will be moving forward as my life changes. But what I'm most happy about with my productivity hacks is I can still work, but do most of the things that I want. To me, I value dinner parties, boxing, going to the market, writing, videography, even buying fresh bread from local bakeries. What other small joys in life could I want? So are productivity hacks useful? Well, that depends on you, your wants, your goals, and your life. They have a bad rap because it's easy to do them in extreme. But you, as an individual, don't have to burn yourself out by being a super performing human. And you also don't have to just throw your hands up and say, why would I try anything? There is a middle ground to this. I might be biased, but I think it's worth spending time thinking about purpose, happiness, intentionality, and reevaluating habits. If you can use hacks to live more intentionally, then all the power to you. Take your cold showers, wake up at 4am, drink kombucha, and be merry. That's all there is for me today. If you guys use any productivity or wellness hacks, comment them below. I would love to know what they are. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.